Hello friend, Kat Glossin here. You're in my studio. I came across this gorgeous picture of Frederick Douglass. And I thought, ooh man, I gotta paint that. Yesterday I thinned out some blue paint, acrylic paint, and I did this layout. This will be 24 inches wide by 36 high. I'm going to go in close so you can just see the way I worked with my brush to lay this out. There is his bow tie. Now, Frederick Douglass was uh, very intellectual. He was a true standout. And Lincoln and Douglass met often at the White House now, Frederick Douglass was the first African-American invited to the White House that was not a servant. That is amazing. Lincoln listened. He didn't always agree with Douglass. Douglass certainly didn't always agree with Lincoln. But they shared ideas, they talked, they debated, and Douglass helped to shape Lincoln's policy. Now, as I think about how I'm going to make this, I've got an idea to use my landscape technique in the area of the hair. And this is something I've never done, so stick with me. And you'll see if this idea pans out or not. This is beginning of day three, Frederick Douglass. So like Lincoln, Frederick Douglass taught himself to read and write and he also taught others. He escaped from slavery by uh, putting a disguise on. He was quite a genius. So I'm starting to work on the hair and what I did is I laid down darks first and then I went with white over top this was the experiment, and I think it's working out great. On day two, I also did the eyes. I had to cut day two short because I had plans in the afternoon. So this is the beginning of day three, and I will keep you posted. I wanted to stop a moment during day three and show you the build-up process and how harsh the painting can look at this point. You know, this black on the mustache, that's way too dark. Well, I have to sit and live with it until the colors get built up. You can see the hair is starting to build those colors. And that is really how this works. So um, what I have to do is to ignore the feelings of, ooh, you know, that really isn't finished looking because the process is slow. You know, putting this yellow down, very basic looking, but that's just right where it needs to be. So hang in there with me. You'll see them come together. Here we are, beginning of day four of Frederick Douglass. So did you know that Frederick Douglass was nominated vice president in 1872? His running mate was Victoria Woodhull. Another interesting fact is Frederick Douglass was the most photographed person of his day with 160 images. Lincoln had 130. Another reason why I like Frederick Douglass is he really fought for women's rights. Now when Frederick Douglass was young and didn't know how to read, he actually gave pieces of white bread to children who could read in exchange for reading lessons. I've got finishing touches yet on Frederick Douglass, quite a few of them, probably a day's work. I've got the bow tie to create. The coat is basic at this point. 
I will be adding more texture and color to it. Soon you will see Mr. Douglas all finished. Day 5. Mr. Douglas is complete. So the year is 1838. Frederick Douglass and his wife have escaped slavery. And, encouraged by a friend, they decide to take the name Douglas. And this came from a poem by Sir Walter Scott titled Lady of the Lake. And I'm so glad they decided to do this. They had a new start. They needed a new name. Now it was very fun doing this hair. I knew that I would have to lay it down dark first and then lay down color and then put the white on top and the white was almost like scraping on frosting. Lastly I went in with squiggly lines and you can see them in various colors and then I painted in openings between the background and the hair. For instance, since my background is orange, I went in with orange to open up the edge of the hair. That's a tip to make hair look more natural because we think of hair maybe like a big helmet on a person, but it's actually individual pieces. I had a lot of fun with this to see more detailed shots and the entire uh, painting, visit my website, which is down below. I love you, friend. I miss you. Take care. And remember, it's always love.